What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I'm going to open up another one of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Boxes for you guys. So yeah, I opened up one of these uh, pretty recently, and you guys seem to really love that opening. So, I had to get another one of these, and honestly too, the more I thought about it, this is probably the best value box, power box, whatever you want to call it, that we've ever had. Because seriously, it's $20, I've only seen these at Walmart, I don't know if they're at other stores, so I think it's an exclusive to Walmart, and you actually are getting 8 packs of cards out of this. So, that's a really good value, and out of the one that I've opened up, and the other ones I've seen, like other people open up, I haven't seen battle packs. So, you can actually get good, legit packs from this. So, honestly, it's a better value than, you know, even most tins, and it even, I feel like, rivals mega tins because of all the cards you can get from this. So, uh, yeah, this is something I feel like I can recommend, you know, out of the other, like, random boxes. So, I, I can't say enough good things about this. I hope they continue things like this. But, yeah, on the front, you have Yugi and Black Luster Soldier. Of course, there's Black Luster Soldier on that side. Then you get, of course, uh, Magician of Black Chaos, I think, or is it Dark Magician of Chaos? I, I don't know if it's the ritual version is the only reason I say that. Then, of course, too, like I said, you're getting seven packs, you get one foreign booster pack, too, which last time we got a French pack for uh, Battle City. So that's pretty neat. And here's, like, everything you can get from this, too. I mean, you're getting, like, Judgment of the Light. That's definitely going to help you out. Fusion Enforcers, all these packs, so you're guaranteed hollows easily. It's just, like, with newer packs. So you can do pretty well. But let's see. And that's actually not just for show, by the way. You can actually get those packs. It's not like one of those things that we've seen that it's like, oh, yeah, there's that Legend of Blue Eyes pack. By the way, you have no chance of getting it. No, they don't, they actually did this pretty right. I'll give them some credit. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, we actually have two of them that are actually in cardboard this time and, and everything. I'll just get everything out of the box at the same time. We'll just see. There, that's everything. Throw that away. So here's, I guess, our separate packs. First off, we have a Code of the Duelists. That one's English. Wing Raiders, there you go. I know you guys love that pack. So uh, We opened up a box recently, too, so check that out. Of course, Dragons of Legend 2, which that's still a really good pack to get, and it's pretty hard to find. Another one of Wing Raiders. Kind of looks like the same packs I got last time. We'll see. Uh, Pendulum Evolution. All these, I believe, are in English so far. Raging Tempest. Then, of course, we have... Okay, this is a different language. What is this? Okay, this is a French um, uh, Breakers of Shadow. Yeah, okay, I think that's right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the set name. Yeah. So that is awesome. We got a different one. This time, not Battle City. Maybe we'll get like a Cyber Dragon Infinity, right? That'd be cool. And then we also have a uh, Maximum Crisis pack, which is what we got last time, too. So let's go on ahead, open all these up, see what we get. Hopefully, again, we'll have some good luck. Also, too, if you guys enjoy opening videos and news and just, well, enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh!, be sure to like this video. Of course, you know, if you enjoyed the video, like it. And uh, subscribe to stay updated and to not miss out on any of my videos. As I open up a lot of random things like this, anything new that's released, I do news videos, everything. So, if you love Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think you'll enjoy my channel. But anyway, let's get to our packs. Enough advertising, right? Oh, we got Spiral Mission. Then, let's see, we have Magician's uh, Restage, and we have a uh, Super Rare, Metaltron, the True Draco Combatant. So, yeah, you're guaranteed a Hollow, by the way, out of this one. That's the reason I'm not too excited, but still pretty cool. I like the artwork of that one. Let's see, Raging Tempest. Will we get a Zodiac Barrage, right? <laughs> we'll get one of the Zodiacs that's banned, probably. We'll see. It's possible. That's kind of one of the things, too, about opening up some older packs. Especially Raging Tempest. It was all about Zodiacs. Well, it's not about focusing, though. That's for sure. There we go. <laughs> but I'll say, uh, we might be able to do this. Well, starting us off, we have the Envoy of Chaos. That's pretty good. And then we have a Tira Source of Destruction for a Super Rare. And the Cardians and everything, too. Kind of cool. Now, Pendulum Evolution. You actually get Ultra Rares and everything, too. It's a pack where everything's holographic. So, let's see. You get two Ultra Rares, though, and I think everything else is Super Rare. Oh, starting off with Harmonizing Magician. That's really good. That's one of the best cards they have. And Time Star Magician, as well. Then after that, we have Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, uh, Magical Abductor, and Dragon Pit Magician. So, yeah, like I said, everything's holographic. It's kind of like a hidden arsenal sort of thing. I kind of place those cards on top of each other. There we go. Wing Raiders. We had some pretty good luck with the Wing Raiders last time, so we'll see if we can continue with that, right? Get Break Sword. <laughs> that would be awesome. 
I still want like the Megazord or Four Strix. Right after Four Strix. That'd be cool. Last Strix. Well, close. <laughs> Gaga Cowboy and... We have number 101 Silent Honor Arc. Man, I thought I had uh, one of those I was talking about on that. But yeah, there's a lot of XC monsters in this set, so it's pretty easy to get tricked. <laughs> but yeah, that's still not bad. Dragons of Legend 2. Uh, we get Toon Kingdom. That would be amazing. We'll see. And, well, we got Comic Hand. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I remember trying to hunt those down at the beginning. That was kind of tough. These must also be another branching like last time, too, because they're a little bit warped, as you guys can tell. Which, that can be fixed easily. That's not a problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, Toon Rollback. Uh, Aqua Actress Guppy. Then uh, Shadow Toon. And Toon Ancient Gear Golem. We at least got some Toon cards from it. Not Toon Kingdom, though. Let's see. Wing Raiders. Come on. Get something awesome. That's another thing, too. We are guaranteed a lot of hollows from these. For 20 bucks. That's that is pretty good. Jim Knight Pearl. They went number uh, 66, Master Key Beetle, and... Oh, okay, sorry. I thought that was the rare. <laughs> I, I got ahead of myself. Gaga -ga Cowboy's the rare, and then we have uh, the Phantom Knights of Fragile Armor. I am sorry. <laughs> I totally... I was getting ready because I saw the Sea Monster. Uh, well, it, it tricked me. Oh, well. Not bad, though, still. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of jumped the gun on that one. And let's see, Code of the Duelist, our last English pack, I guess. So, let's see. Get Firewall Dragon, right? That <laughs> would be amazing. Get Reincarnation. It's going to get a reprint, but that means it's time to get one out of uh, Code of the Duelist. World Legacy, Thindrids. And we have Trap Tricks Mantis. So, a super on that, and back to the front for our rare. So, yeah, pretty good rare, at least. But unfortunately, no Firewall or uh, Trickstar Reincarnation, right? But yeah, we do have one pack left. This is the foreign pack, so let's see. Again, that'd be, that would be awesome to get, like, uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity out of this or something that's high rarity. We are at least, I, yeah, we, we do at least get a super out of this because it's the first pack that started that. So what can we get? I mean, it seems weird, too. The pack feels different from ours. I think the last one was like that too, or it's like a different kind of plastic or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, some Performa Pals and everything. That's one of the uh, Buster Blader cards. Do we have something? Well, we have uh, one of the Goyo Guardians, uh, Goyo Defender, I think. Yeah, well, it should be pretty easy, I guess, from that name. And we got a Secret Rare! <laughs> oh, man! Uh, Cosmo Eclipser, right? Isn't that the name? I, I think that's right. Oh, that is so cool, and it's first edition. I didn't notice that. It was actually a first edition pack, too. Oh, that is awesome. Man, we we ended with a hollow. I didn't say anything, did I? Because I knew we were going to end with at least a hollow. But <laughs> there we go. That is awesome. So, yeah, I think it is Cosmo Eclipse here, if I remember correctly. And it kind of says in the name. You can kind of tell because, you know, even in French, you know, it kind of looks the same on that. And obviously Cosmo is still Cosmo. But that is awesome awesome looking. I don't think I ever got one of these from its actual pack, even in English or any language. So that is just amazing looking. So man, did we end with an awesome card. And then of course, some of the despots, oh, they're called like Robo Bureau. Huh, that's interesting. I had no idea. Doriado. And yeah, I don't know. I just find it to be really cool to look through foreign cards. I, I like that just because just seeing what, you know, other names that they have. And sometimes the artworks are different. Of course, uh, this is still being TCG. It's not. But, you know, like OCG and TCG packs, you can see a difference most time. But yeah, that is awesome. And also, too, I got to say the card quality seems better than ours. I don't know why, but it seems like the paper is better. Maybe they do a little bit better on that. I think ours is supposed to be like recycled paper, and some other people use better card stocks. So that is even better to get that secret rare. First edition, French pack 2. That's awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Wasn't too crazy at the beginning, but man, did we end with an awesome hollow. So I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I do recommend these, honestly. It's still one of those things because it is a random box. It's not like an official product either. The packs are, of course, real, but it is something that is repackaged. So you have to think about that kind of stuff. But also, too, I mean, honestly, it is something that's pretty much a better value than the older Yu-Gi-Oh! 10s we used to get. I would say that it compares pretty well to even, like, the Mega 10s. And you are getting a ton of hollows, because, like, all the packs are guaranteed one, or at least out of everything I've got. I mean, I guess I got Battle City last time, but you are still getting 
a lot of holographic cards from these two. So honestly, I feel like they're worth it. They're around $20 and I'm going to pick up some more of these too if you guys want to see more of them. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, openings, and news and other things too. And ring that bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Of course, have a great day and I will catch you guys later. See ya!